Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So, you got a smartphone, and you're using it frequently. Your battery is probably going to drain quicker if you're using things that the phone allows you to use, like the camera, apps that rely on location services. But how do you know when the system is using something that's related to your location services? Here's something that I figured out in iOS 5. Here, follow along here. I'm going to show you something. I'm in the settings app right here. And you've got the location services right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that. That's right, I tap that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll down through the list. Here's where I can toggle uh, any one of these particular apps. Uh, but I want you to keep, I've got a lot of apps installed on here, obviously. I want you to go all the way down this list to system services. You following along here? This, are you following, honey? My girlfriend's doing this right now. She, she, didn't even know, she didn't even know this tip until I'm doing this video. Isn't this great? This is how we communicate, by the way, is on YouTube. <laughs> it's how she met me in the first place. Kind of a weird little vicious circle we got going on here. So in the system services, you can go through and you can toggle when that little arrow is showing up. So for uh, if it's looking for a cell network search, compass calibration, diagnostics and usage, uh, location-based IADs, setting time zone or traffic, you can toggle any one of these. Or if you keep scrolling down, status bar icon, keep it on or off. My suggestion to you is keep it on. Turn this thing on. Is it on for you by default, honey? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that's on, but this is where you configure all these location services if any of them get turned off. If you don't want, let's say, uh, any of the iAds to uh, geo-target uh, you, this is where you would switch that option off so that you wouldn't be geo-targeted for those location-based iAds. That's just Apple's network. It wouldn't count for any of the other mobile ads. Uh, any one of these other options, including traffic, etc., this is where you would set them. So I just want to show you a deeper dive into that because in many cases, uh, you will... Uh, be draining battery by relying on those location-based services. So I'm at home right now, and I could say, I want, hang on, before I go into Siri here, I just want to show you, right now, I don't have the icon. I don't know if you can see that in the, yeah, there you go. I don't have the icon. I didn't have to unlock it, actually. Here's something that I also uh, let Siri do. I, I You can toggle this, and I'll show you in a second. That was a screw up. Wait. Remind me to take my car when I leave the house. Here's your reminder for when you leave home. Did you hear that? Here's your reminder for when Shall you leave I home. Uh, you, by the way, the task... I'm confirming it. This task can only be location-based when you're using uh, iCloud services. This doesn't work if you use Exchange service, and I haven't tried it with the uh, Google services. But this task, if you want it to be geo-based has to be set up specifically with your iCloud account. So now, I'm going to show you. I've got it locked. You see the icon? It's up there. Because I set a task, I set a reminder to say, when I leave this house, remind me to take the car. So that's exactly what it's going to do. So now that location-based service is on. That's why. Because it's saying, when I leave something, it's, it's going to tell me something else. So keep that in mind when you're using location-based services you're going to be taking battery because it's going to got to going to have to monitor going to have to watch going to have to uh, you know look and learn so you're going to be draining battery when you're doing things like that just be aware so let's go ahead and i'm going to jump into general and then siri uh and show you actually no it's not under that it's under ah, passcode lock under settings passcode lock this is, a, some people said this was a security problem. It's not, and I'm going to show you why, because it's not, this particular thing is a non-issue. In the passcode lock section, you have the option to uh, turn Siri functionality from the lock screen on or off. By default, it's on. Just like by default, your passcode lock is off. So if you want to toggle Siri so that it's not available from the lock screen, you know, this little lock screen here, uh, then that's where you would set it, under settings, passcode lock, and then uh, toggle the option. The reason why you might want to keep it open, uh, you know, people could get access to your information. Uh, it is a possibility, but like if you're like me and you drive with a hands-free uh, Bluetooth uh, capabilities in your car, uh, you may want to use Siri without necessarily unlocking your phone. And so that would be a case where I could just start using it right now, just like that. Not a security issue for me necessarily, because if I was having issues with, uh, with that, 
Apple may change it at some point in the future, but if I lost my phone, the first thing I would do is a remote wipe using the iCloud uh, Find My iPhone uh, feature. A great feature. Love it. I love the fact that it's it's free and baked into the phone. That is security to the nth degree. So, uh, and at least that particular part of, of its service. That's where you toggle a few things. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, iOS tips? Any mobile tips, really? Not just iOS. Mobile tips? Okay. I'm watching the chat room at live.perlo.com and Windows 7 fan says, Chris reminds me of Leonard off the Big Bang Theory. I'm not Leonard! Of course, I'm not Sheldon either. Or Raj, or at least he didn't call me Howard. Or Penny. My girlfriend thought it was funny. Share your tips. Hopefully you like this set. Email me, chris at perillo.com. Did you like this video? Like it right now. Like it. That's my, I don't know what that is. Uh, you can uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and beyond. Always sharing fun, informational stuff, or at least trying to. And then, of course, we also got the chat room, uh, geeking out 24 hours a day. See, I watch it. Many of you don't think I do. I do. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.